before we start discussing about a stable multi vibe data we have to understand the concepts about transistors suppose this is a transistor base collector emitter three junctions we are giving a high input or a high voltage into the base or we can say this is one if we give the high input to the base what will happen the transistor will start conducting and as soon as the transistor starts conducting it will go to the saturation mode as soon as it goes to the saturation mode the vc or the collector voltage will start decreasing if we consider this diagram as a standard diagram of an stable multi vibrator so what actually an stable multi vibrator does if we consider one as some high voltage and zero as some low voltage a stable multi vibrators output voltage doesn't constantly stay on zero or one it actually happens like this for some couple of measurements of time it stays on zero then for couple of measurements of time it stays on one then again it comes to zero then again it comes to one no stable state we get from an unstable multi vibrator and why this happen so if we consider this diagram we can see there are two amplifiers like transistors transistor 1 and transistor it will happen in case of if we give a low voltage or a zero to the base of a transistor what will happen it readily goes to a cut off region what is a cut off region it will go on open circuit so no conduction process will be go on as like the previous one so what will happen the collector voltage vc will start increasing so as soon as we give one to the base vc starts decreasing as soon as we give zero or low to the base the vc starts increasing these two basic concepts are very much important indeed at the time of understanding the concepts of a stable multi vibrator the two transistors or the two amplifiers cannot be identical at the same time as the two transistors cannot go to saturation region at the same time or the two transistors cannot go to cut off region at the same time well um, for getting an understanding we will first assume that as soon as we give a collector to collector voltage firstly transistor 1 starts conducting it gets to saturation region so as we know from our previous understandings that as soon as a transistor goes to saturation region its collector voltage or we can say vc starts decreasing so as soon as this transistor transistor goes on conducting mode or saturation region its collector voltage suddenly starts decreasing as soon as its collector voltage decreases its collector voltage directly goes through this path to the base of this transistor so as soon as some very reduced collector voltage goes to the base of a transistor or we can assume that this very low collector voltage is zero so if zero something is zero voltage is given to the base of a transistor what will happen the transistor will definitely go to a cut off region or it will not definitely conduct so as soon as a transistor goes on cut off region what will happen as we have already illustrated that its collector voltage will suddenly increases so as this whole process 
like for transistor 1 the decrement of collector voltage for transistor 2 the increment of collector voltage this takes place for a while what will happen the transistor 1 will permanently goes to saturation region and the transistor 2 will permanently reach the cutoff region so that's the point and as transistor 1 goes to saturation region and as you can see this this is the measured voltage is here so across the collector and uh, ground the voltage will be like VC is decreasing so the voltage will be zero so we get this graph here now we can simply find out that RC and RD we have two resistors here and these are two connected with a base to base voltage here so as soon as we give a base to base voltage here what will happen this voltage will try to go through this RD resistance to the base of transistor 2 but we know that the transistor 2 is an cutoff region so the current which that VBB voltage will provide will not go to that base of transistor 2 so what will happen it will follow the same path it will go to this capacitor so this will be plus this will be minus so we can say in another words that simply the charging of that capacitor will start occurring as soon as the charging of that capacitor starts occurring what will happen as soon as the charging of the capacitor starts occurring some voltage will be generated there we know that some charging of the capacitor will form some voltages and that high voltages we can assume that one this will follow this path and this will go to the base of this transistor we have written as TRA into a transistor 2 so as soon as any high voltage go to any base of a transistor it readily goes to saturation region and at, as it readily goes to saturation region its collector voltage goes to zero so the collector voltage of transistor 2 will go to zero so the previous case for transistor 1 it was VC was decreasing here for transistor 2 VC will be decreasing and the decreasing VC will follow this path like it will follow this path through this capacitor this will follow this path and it will go to the base of transistor 1 and as soon as it goes to the base of transistor 1 and transistor 1 will readily goes to cutoff region because some very low voltage as we can say this zero is given to that transistor so as soon as this happens what will happen the collector voltage of this transistor VC will start increasing so as we are measuring the voltage V measured in between the collector and ground of the transistor how we will uh, observe we will simply observe that the voltage has been increased a lot and we can compare it to one so previously it was in that state now it reaches this state like previously it was zero now this is one and as this whole process goes on like once like twice like thrice so many times number of times couple of times it does the same thing again and again and again so we can simply find this out how to this whole process that multi vibe data a stable multi vibe data can't stay on a stable state it varies its states in measurements of time so friends hope you enjoyed the video a lot this was all about a stable multi vibrator like comment subscribe to our channel and 
do not forget to share videos with your friends it may help them so for now thank you bye bye